As my husband brought out the boxes from storage for my Christmas setup, I must have counted 15 boxes. Then again, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. I called over the girls and we began to fluff and decorate the trees. However, I couldn't help but wonder, was Miami ready for Christmas? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 30. We are one day away from New Year's Eve. I'm so excited for that. But uh, today we're actually going to head on over to uh, Indian River, <laughs> Indian River Antiques, <laughs> Antique Shop, and we're going to uh, check it out. It's um, it's like a big mall, and then there's like different little kiosks with different vendors. So there's different vendors selling antique pieces. Um, so let's head on over and let's see if we can find anything. And uh, don't forget that tomorrow we are going to be um, completing part two of our vision boards. Tomorrow we're going to do that. There's our little setup over there. Tomorrow we're going to be doing that. So anyways, let's head on over to Indian River Antiques.
Okay guys, so I just got back home and I wanna show you guys my finds. So the first thing I found was this multicolored, it has like panels of colors in orange, pink, and yellow. And it's a um, Philip and Jane Gordon design. And it is a whole bunch of pandas. And these pandas have a ton of beads. There's a whole bunch of beads around the bamboo. And then there's like these little tassels towards the bottom. I just thought it was a super fun design. I felt so carry Sex in the City, like with, I don't know. I don't know, I just thought it was really, really fun. But um, I got this one maybe for 17 bucks. I can't remember, but I know it was around $20, which I thought was amazing because this is just precious. And then like the buttons are like, if they were like little bamboo sticks. So this is one of the pieces that I got and I'm obsessed with it. Up next, I found this beautiful, it looks like it's a cross between clouds, bubbles, and like snow, like the little snowballs. I don't know what it would be, but it's the, the, the what do you call it? The thread they use is embedded with silver, like little silver pieces. I don't know, it just, it's so fitting for, it's fitting for Easter, it's fitting for Christmas, it's fitting for, I don't know, like just so much, so much. Absolutely spectacular. I absolutely love it. I don't think it has a tag. I searched the whole thing and it doesn't have a tag. So I don't know if it was handmade by someone. I don't know if it had a tag and it was removed, but there's nothing on it. Anywho, I got this piece for, I think it was $17. And I'm amazed because it is such good quality. It's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Up next, I picked up this three duckling set. They're ceramic and it's three little ducks, but it reminds me of that commercial that I love from Disney. That it's like the little duck that is playing, um, pretending to be Donald Duck. Well, anyways, it's a three piece set. It was $10. Um, they are pretty old. And you can tell because um, the ceramic, after a while, it starts to crack on the inside. Um, I'm trying to find a date. I'm trying to find information on it that would, I don't know, kind of give me an idea as to what date this is from, uh, or year at least, and I can't, but $10, it does have some like little nicks and stuff, like this one's missing the bottom of the beak, um, but I feel like it adds character to it. See this one, the, the edge of the foot. But it's kind of those pieces where you're like, you know, like on top of a book or something. If I find like the, like a version of like the ugly duckling and I could put the three little ducks on top or something, I don't know. Um, but I thought they, they were just like too precious to leave behind and for 10 bucks for three pieces, I was like, I definitely need that in my bookshelf. Up next, I picked up these little paper doll books. My mom said that when she was a little girl, these were the toys that she had. They were the only toys she had and they were paper dolls. Um, they were these popular books and when you open it, the dolls are made out of paper and then towards the back is the actual doll. So you get to like pop them out and then you get to dress them with the actual paper. So I think this used to be like 59 cents or something like that. Then I got a second one that did the same. This is from a vintage shop that sold a lot of like 1970s inspired items. Those were some of them, the, the clothing, and then these. And then I got this book from there too, Gus Was a Friendly Ghost. This is a very old book. I have to look for the date on this, but I picked this up from that little kiosk as well. And then I got this, the last item. Oh no, I'm actually missing one more thing from that kiosk. Um, great Songs of Christmas, it's a, um, a record. And then the last thing I got from that kiosk, she collects vintage toys and then she makes them into earrings. So I thought that this was really cool. They're little ducklings. Just thought it was really cool. Guys, I don't know if you could see it, but there's thousands of these little bugs and they're not gnats. There are these tiny little black bugs that sting so bad. You can see, it looks like it's raining. It's not raining. Those are the, those little bugs. And they're like little, they're like tiny little black bugs. I'm trying to see if I can get one. Oh my gosh. Well, you see how it looks like it's raining? 
they cause the most damage. Like they'll bite you and it will, it won't even like itch. It's like, you feel like ripping off your skin. Oh my God, they're so horrible. Mm. I hate those little things. You see the floor, how black it looks? Those are clumps of them all together. Look at what it did to my leg. It's like bruised and everything. Like they bite you and then it like leaves a huge bump and like I'm bruised. It hurts so bad. Oh my God, they're horrible. Look on the side of my leg. You see a bump? That's what it is. They come and they like destroy your leg. Look at the bump on like terrible little beach holes. Okay guys, so I just got this little needle felt kit as a gift from um, my sister and um, basically you're supposed to use all of the items to create your own in this case it's like a little it's this a little a little peach duck now she thought that it already came she thought it had already come made or prepared however it doesn't you have to make it I thought it was just amazing because I um, <laughs> I love needle felted items, so I'm gonna try to create this. So supposedly I have to put this foam board in the bottom and then start taking the, the felt and kind of like shaping it with a needle. So let's see how it goes. I've never done this in my life, but I love buying them, so let's see. It brings these little finger gloves, I presume, and then um, it brings needles of all sorts of inside of all sorts of sizes, all sorts and sizes. And then it brings like the different colored wool. Let me just get started because it says this needle. Where's that needle at? I don't know. Let me just let me start. So guys, I, I'm supposed to be doing a duck. However, you remember the book I showed you guys, A Little Ghost? I decided I have sufficient wool to make like another thing, but I think I'm gonna make a little ghosty to go with the book. So I finished the little head. As you can see, it's perfectly round. Now I'm trying to add like a little ghosty body and the little hands. Let's see. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I did the little eyes. And the little body and the little hands. I kind of love him. I kind of do. So now I'm kind of contemplating on whether or not to do a little mouth, like a little circle. I have some black wool. So I don't know whether to do the little black mouth. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, guys. So I added a little bit of a longer piece of wool so that it looks like, like the ghost trail. Oh my god, I love it. Guys, this is my little ghosty. I'm done. <laughs> He's so cute. 